Good morning, everyone. Abolitionist Jay here with the next installment in my vlog series chronicling my attempts at some quasi band nomadism. Today is June 2nd, 2018. It's currently a little before 7 o'clock. Murder Dog and I have been up for a while. We are at a local campsite, I guess. There's really not a lot of places to camp around this horrible goddamn island. Uh, most of them are further out east. The only things they seem to have around here are set up for RVs. Um, but uh, we made use of one of those last night. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, it's actually uh, looking like a beautiful day already. We've, uh, we've been up here for about an hour or so. I was packing things up and getting everything put back into the car and whatnot. So once I'm done with this, we can head down to the bathroom. I can wash up, brush my teeth. And uh, we can hit the road because I have to go visit with my lawyer in a little while to go give him some money because, well, the state is horrible and wants money for everything. So, got to go do that. Uh, before we get into uh, our, our camping experience last night, I'll fill you guys in on what happened since we last spoke. Uh, when I left you guys last, Murder Dog and I were in a McDonald's parking lot making use of their Wi Fi and indulging on the delicious but horribly bad for you McDonald's breakfast because, well, I just had to have one and didn't care. Um, and it was raining. Uh, not, like, pouring, but it was pretty heavy at times. And uh, I had remarked that we uh, we had some issues with leaks and we needed to go, we needed to figure some stuff out and we're waiting for everything to dry out so we could do that. Uh, it kept raining for a few hours after I, after I signed off on that video. But after talking to my wife, I remembered that there's a, you know, there's a parking garage at a local nearby mall. So I headed over there and because it was a Thursday, a Friday and, you know, during the day it wasn't super packed yet. So luckily I was able to pull into the parking garage and end up, oh geez, it's getting bright in here. I apologize guys. Um, ended up uh, disassembling pretty much the entire vehicle right there in the parking lot and putting it back together piece by piece. I uh, stripped the car carrier down, uh, you know, emptied it out of everything, and reorganized that entire thing, retied down, you know, moved the car carrier, retied it down. Uh, I believe it's a, it seems to be a lot more secure now. Uh, it didn't rain too much after that, so I don't know about the leaks. We'll have to see. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can avoid that with having to run the straps in the car in order to keep the carrier on there, but we'll figure it out. I mean, I, I, fi I figured out some uh, little hacks I can get around. I mean, you can see here, there's some, t there's some hand towels hanging from the, uh, the straps, and I actually had a bunch of those stored with me. So if I just wrap those around the, uh, the carrier straps, then uh, that keeps the water from actually reaching us down on that, down here near, closer to the ground. So, but yeah, we uh, spent a good few hours doing that. And, uh, you know, as always, learn some things. Number one, always make sure where you put stuff down because uh, I spent over half an hour looking for one of the locks to the car carrier that I, that I knew when I put it down where, where I had put it down. I said to myself, you're not putting this with the other lock. That's probably not a good idea. Sure enough, 10 minutes later, I couldn't remember where I put the goddamn thing. Spent half an hour searching all over the car and almost tore everything back apart again in order to find it before I finally realized, oh yeah, you uh, left it inside the carrier. So uh, yeah, good tip. Make sure you know where your things are at all times. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I spent, like I said, I spent a few hours doing that. And then unfortunately, while I was doing so, another thing I learned, the electric cooler I had purchased, I mentioned, uh, a Knox, I believe it is. Uh, I, I flipped it on while uh, Cameron and I were hanging out there doing you know, doing the work and stuff, and just to uh, just to get it a little cool, and you know, because I had some water and stuff in there, and unfortunately, I had the uh, car set on the accessory, you know, the key in the accessory position, and I kind of forgot about the cooler once I started looking for the lock. So by the time I finally figured every figured out where the stupid lock was and got everything put back put back in place and went to go check on the cooler, it had killed the battery on the car. So yeah, another good tip, if you're going to use one of these electric coolers, apparently you should leave your car running. 
Now, luckily, I do have jumper cables. Um, I don't have AAA anymore. Probably should have that for something like this. Um, but again, I'm local, and uh, my wife happened to be so you know she she uh, she was somewhat close by. So her and the kids came over and gave me a jump. Uh, but that actually served two purposes because while I was cleaning out. Uh, re and reorganizing, I have already found a bunch of things that I don't need and other stuff I was able to consolidate. So I was able to give a, give some of those things to her to either get rid of or store, you know, with them, which they don't have a lot of space left either, but what, what they can do for the time being. So I got some things out of here. I got that giant tub uh, that I've been using to store a bunch of stuff, which I had standing up back in the corner. Um... It just, was, it just wasn't working out because I ended up needing a lot more stuff in there on a more regular basis than I thought already, and it was just taking up too much, too much space. Now, I am still considering putting the bed and, uh, you know, putting a modified bed in the back uh, raised up on some kind of platform so I can store stuff underneath. If I actually get around to doing that, then I may bring that tub back because hopefully, you know, it's only, a, I think it only stands like six to eight inches tall, um, so I should be able to slide that underneath the bed. Uh, but for the time being, we got rid of that. We got rid of one of the spare coolers, I, small styrofoam coolers I had because it just kept falling and cracking all over the place. And uh, a few other things I, I, I moved around and got rid of. So we we have a, we have a little more room now. Um, I actually, uh, I also swapped the table, the uh, recording table for my equipment, which I had tied up uh, along the sides of the inside of the truck here. Uh, I swapped that for the dog ramp, which I had up in the car carrier because, well, murder dog's getting older and uh, I should probably have that more readily available for her than my cable. So we did all that. And, you know, and then we had, we, we had to go take a trip to the dump because uh, all the stuff we had left over from the sale of our, that we were trying to sell when we were getting rid of the house uh, that ended up, you know, nobody, we had no takers. And we tried to give a lot of it away too and just people weren't taking it. We ended up having to take it to the dump and drop that off. So we went down there. And uh, I helped, you know, I helped, I helped the wife uh, get rid of all that stuff. And then, uh, and then we went out and had a, had a, had a little food. Um, I had one of the most delicious sandwiches I've had in, I can't even remember how long. Tiny little hole-in-the-wall deli that I've known about for years. Most people don't even know it exists. My wife drove right past it, shouldn't even see it. Um, but a cousin of mine worked there years ago, and I always remember them making really good food. So I said, hey, we're in the area. If you guys are hungry, let's go, uh, you know, we can go grab some food and go sit outside and eat. And, uh, and the sandwich called the Blazer. Oh, my God. It was freaking delicious. Buffalo chicken, chipotle mayo, bacon, melted mozzarella, uh, melted uh, cheddar cheese uh, on a nice big uh, hoagie hero. Oh, man. Fucking delicious. I was in heaven. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So we did that and uh, hung out for a little bit. And, you know, that was nice. Unfortunately, uh, I, I still had some other stuff to do. So we had to, uh, we had to separate after that. And I ended up hanging out at a, at a park nearby there, some baseball fields and stuff. And uh, I was, my plan was to try to finally get some sleep because, well, I've been running on like three hours or less the past couple of nights. And I was pretty damn exhausted. Like I was dragging. I, I barely had the energy to hang out with my kids. I felt bad, but I was just shot. And so they ended up leaving and I sat there and set the car up with like the windows open. So, we, you know, we had some airflow going on, found a nice shady spot to park in. So murder dog and I wouldn't get too hot and just laid there and just couldn't sleep. Just wasn't happening. So we ended up going for a couple of walks. I, uh, I found, I found a good Wi-Fi spot, wi -Fi spot and did some, uh, you know, did some uh, uploading and and, and uh, searching online and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, like I said, it would have been nice to sleep, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I, uh, I ended up putzing around for a while, and uh, then I decided that I desperately needed a shower because it, had, it was getting close to two days already, and... Uh, I was feeling kind of ripe after all the everything I've been doing and all the work I've been doing and uh, sweating a little bit, sleeping in the car and whatnot. So I set out to find a place to either set up my solar shower 
Or I was actually thinking of getting a campground, you know, finally just saying, all right, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll get a camp, you know, go to a campground for the night so I can at least have a shower and whatnot, because since I have to go see my lawyer, I figure I should be at least a little bit presentable. Well, unfortunately, yeah, campgrounds are hard to come by around here. There's only a couple listed in Nassau County, and they all seem to be designed for RVs, or at least they're currently being used for just RVs. There's one down by a beach called Nickerson, uh, called Nickerson Beach down uh, down down Long Beach Lido, uh, Lido Be- uh, Point Lookout Way, and uh, they they list that they have camp you know a campground campground, but then when you check other sites, it says oh no the camping part's been shut down. It's only for RVs, and of course they also charge ridiculous fees. Um, you know a lot of places around here if you're not a quote unquote town resident or sometimes a county resident, which even though a lot of times, you know, if you just cross over the border of the county, if you live in a town on one side of the border and you cross into the other side, they still, you know, you're not part of this town. You have the charge. They charge you like double, sometimes triple. In this situation, I am a re- well, technically still a resident of Nassau County, and but that's not good enough. They have these things called leisure passes here, and if you don't have one of those, the price is triple. And I'm, you know, I was like, wow. Even even if I could stay here, I don't think I'd want to. I don't want to pay. I think it was like 37 bucks for the night just for a campsite. And I was like, yeah, that's insane. Not going to happen. So Murder Dog and I took a cruise down the Ocean Parkway, uh, past all the beaches, trying to find some place we could just set up this, the solar shower so just so I could take a quick shower. And it just no, nothing was happening. They, uh, they make it so difficult around here, you know. Anyway, so after all that, I finally decided to head up to the, the one campground that I had heard, I had heard a couple of things about, but again, it's supposedly only for RVs. But as I was on my way up here, I stopped at a 7-Eleven to get a drink and uh, and 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 a banana for uh, for my breakfast. Because yeah, McDonald's breakfast was delicious yesterday, but I can't be eating that crap all the time. So I switched over to what I planned on being one of my staples for breakfast: uh, the good old peanut butter and banana sandwich, uh, which I, I got long ago from my dad we used to eat those together uh, when i was growing up and uh you know good thing to have because peanut butter as long as it's not like ridiculously hot and humid you can leave it out it doesn't have to stay cold um the bread you know that'll that'll last for a few days in the car even without you know as long as again not as long as it doesn't get super humid and bananas you know you pick up a bunch of bananas and they'll let you know i like, use one a day they'll that'll last a few days and that's fine to sit out so things like that you know even though i do have the electric cooler I do, I, my goal was to try to use as many things, you know, eat as many things and get as many things that I didn't have to keep cold. That way I didn't have to turn it on as often and, uh, you know, just make life a little easier for myself. And, you know, along those lines, I also, I, I haven't gone purchasing it yet. I still have to go. Um, it's getting brighter and brighter here this morning, folks. I apologize. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sitting here a little uncomfortably in the car. I, I, I have a picnic table next to me, and I was actually considering setting up and recording from that, you know, totally out, outside, and, but uh, since it's still so early, I do see some people up and around, but I don't want to be totally rude to my neighbors here. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the, the peanut butter but out of thing, good, good, good breakfast, good way to start your day. Um, but once I finally get around to going shopping, I was planning on picking up stuff like uh, tuna fish and, uh, you know, can, canned chicken, stuff like that, because again, you don't have to store those. Uh, I mean, you can you can store you obviously have to store them somewhere, but you don't have to keep those cold. They could, you know because they sit in the pantry all the time. And I have it's not the most pleasant thing, but I have in the past eaten those without mayo, so I know that's possible. And I also realized that hey, instead of just like picking up a jar of mayo, which I have to keep cold all the time, when I do stop at Seven Eleven every couple of days, because you know I can't go too long without my Howl's New York coffee seltzer. Um, you just pick up a couple of those mayo packets that they have in the condiment section for the different sandwiches and stuff they have. And, uh, you know, you just pick them up as needed. So there you go. Boom. Mayo. No problem. So, yeah, I got to I gotta get on that shopping tip. But, yeah, that's how I started my day with that sandwich. Um, actually feeling pretty good right now. Uh, so, yeah, so like I said, I picked those things up. And then I ended up sitting in that parking lot for a while because, again, great. For some reason, most 7-Elevens around here have excellent Wi-Fi. Um, another thing that actually worked uh, is working to my advantage currently is even though I shut off all, I, I, you know, I closed out all my accounts for like the, uh, you know, the, 
the electric, the gas, all the stuff from the house, and even my internet. Uh, I'm with Optimum Online, uh, with Optimum, and they even though they, they closed my account, they said it actually runs out on June 22nd. So until at least June 22nd, I still also have access to the Optimum Wi-Fi, which is people have it all over the place. So that's, you know, that's great for me. It makes it really easy. I don't have to go searching as far for a Wi-Fi signal. You know, my phone is, my phone picks it up pretty well. My laptop sometimes looks a little tricky with that. So picking up the, the Optimum stuff is great. So when I found that, I was like, oh, perfect. I'll sit here for a little while and I'll upload a video. So that's why I uploaded that second video yesterday. This way I, I figured I could be on track and there would be one video a day and it would come out on that day. I, I'd rather do things like that unless for some reason I can't get to, uh, can't get to internet. So I sat there for a while, did that. By the time I finally headed up towards the campground area, it was already nine o'clock. And when I got here, the, uh, it was dark and the registration office was closed. And, oh, excuse me one second, I forgot to turn my alarm off. I planned on sleeping late this morning. <laughs> so much for that. Um, now, the registration was closed, but there was nobody else around. I just desperately needed a shower. So I just kind of came in, found myself a spot. It's not very crap. Like, you know, there's a bunch of people here, but there's tons of open spots. And like I said, this place seems to be completely geared for RVs because every site is either 40 or 45 feet long. Most of them have a long ass strip pretty much designed for campers. Um, and a bunch of them have power outlets, you know, to, to plug your camper in and stuff like that. So I pulled in here, I contemplated setting up the tent, but since technically I wasn't invited, <laughs> I didn't want to have to break down too much in the morning in case, uh, Somebody found me before I woke up and they were a little pissed. Now, I fully intend, and I, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I'm going to leave some money at the door on my way out. Um, and then uh, I might come back here again when they're open and actually inquire about whether it's cool that I stay here. Even though I don't have a camper, I'm, you know, whatever, depending on what they're going to charge. Because they allow dogs here, uh, you know, they have a power outlet and they have what I found to be last night, extremely clean bathrooms. So that's a good thing. Um, so this is, this seems like it could be a good place to come in a pinch as long as, you know, they'll be fine with me coming without a camper. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't really make use of their services anyway. I did borrow a little electric last night so I could uh, power up the cooler overnight and charge up my phone and a couple other little things without having to turn the car on. But yeah, we got here and I... I figured out, uh, you know, I, I moved some stuff around, and you know, we took a walk. Uh, I was told there are actual actual showers here. I didn't find them last night, but it was because it was dark. So I said, all right, you know what? I need a shower. I have this solar shower. Obviously, I didn't have a chance to heat the bag up, so it's not going to be warm. But I need a shower. So I set up my little shower stall, hooked up the, uh, filled up the 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 tank on the uh, solar shower with a, with a gallon or so of water and uh, actually ended up ha having to hang it from the uh, car carrier so I got enough so I had enough height on it because unfortunately the, sta the shower stall while very convenient because it folds up and twists into one of those little into a little ring so you can carry it anywhere uh, not very sturdy for holding things so it's not like I can hang the shower the solar shower from it and it actually has a hole in the back where you're supposed to kind of stick the sh sh shower through because it's designed to hang from a pole or a tree or something like that because when you put a couple of gallons of water in there it gets kind of heavy so i ended up hanging it from the uh actually i ended up hanging it from the hammock that i have tied behind my car carrier and it was cold it was cold it was it was almost 10 o'clock at night the water came directly out of the spigot it was chilly but the water pressure is strong, so that's a plus. The solar shower, well, I'll hopefully get to test out. Uh, if I have a chance, I'm going to try to fill it up today and let it sit out and see how warm, the you know, test it out as far as how warm that and how quickly the water gets warm. Um, but I know the water pressure works well. I know there's no leaks in the bag. And uh, like I said, despite being chilly, I feel cleaner. Not completely clean. It wasn't like the greatest shower in the world, but it was a hell of a lot better than wiping myself down with baby wipes. So I'll take it. 
Um, so yeah, so I did that, and then uh, Murder Dog and I just kind of hung out for a while. She uh, she was pooped because we went for a bunch of walks yesterday, and uh, she just kind of passed out in the grass. And uh, you know, I kind of hung around and uh, played online a bit. Uh, probably more than I should have, because unfortunately the one thing about being up here at this campsite is there's like no Wi-Fi. Uh, so, you know, and as I've just discussed before, with my particular situation, uh, I don't have unlimited data, so I do have to be a little bit careful about that. You yeah. know, but whatever. I splurged a little bit last night because I was just hanging out. And so after that, I ended up moving stuff around in the car because now that the mining rig's gone and I got rid of some of those extra pieces that were taking up some extra room, uh, I was able to implement the plan that I had originally had where I shifted some of the bigger items from the back into the driver's seat so that there was enough room for a murder dog and I to sleep back there. And it wasn't too bad. Um, one of the things actually too, uh, let's see, I'll see if I can show it to you guys here. Oh, darn it, the darn alarm again. Hold on, please. Um, one of the things you see back there that the uh, the divider for the uh, it's a pet barrier. Now, this is one of the things I actually had stored with uh, with my wife when we were planning on getting rid of because I had attempted to sell it. I didn't think I would need it anymore, and there was no takers, and we were just gonna we were just gonna throw it in the town dump. But after uh, after she came to after she came to uh, help me out and jump my car, and we were you know trying to reorganize some stuff in her car so we could fit the extra stuff that uh, like my mining rig and all that stuff, uh, I had thought about it and I said you know what I could probably actually make use of that and so far it's uh, it's turning out pretty well now setting it up the way I have it as you saw in the back of the truck like that uh, it does cut off an extra couple of inches so there's technically some wasted space. And it also means there's a couple, uh, you know, I'm a couple inches shorter. <laughs> uh, well, uh, there, there's a couple less inches for me when I try to sleep back there. But the bonuses of it, I think, outweigh the negatives. Because, number one, with the setup like this, now I can actually leave the, 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 the window on the tailgate open um, more often uh, if murder dogs back there because I mean she's getting older and she's normally not a jumper like this but occasionally if she gets a little spooked or sees something she wants to go she wants to go investigate she has been known to leap out the back of the tailgate not while the car is driving uh, you know not while we're moving but if I'm just hanging out or something she's you know she's been known in the past to do that so I figure with that that way I can leave it open and in case I need to go you know walk somewhere to like a bathroom or something like that and I don't want to take her with me I can leave her there and I don't have to worry about her having like, you know, le you know, not, not enough air because she'll have the whole thing open and she won't go anywhere. Also, it, I, I can leave it, I can leave it open while driving to get some more airflow through the car, which is even more beneficial for her because obviously if we'll leave the front windows open a little bit as we're driving. The air flows through the, through the, through the front windows and out the back and directly past her. So it helps keep her cool. And since I already have, have the car carrier on top, the, Having having the 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 uh, window you know the the tailgate window open like that doesn't uh, doesn't really create any issues with air you know with airflow it doesn't really ruin the aerodynamics although as it was pointed out yesterday, yesterday by my friend Brian who uh, was remarking that you know after one of my videos he was remarking that he you know he missed his element and uh, you know I was saying yeah of course these these things are great I love this vehicle. But he described it in probably the best, one of the best ways I've ever heard. He goes, the, the, yeah, they're great, super utilitarian, about as useful, uh, about as aerodynamic as a toaster, but very utilitarian. <laughs> so yeah, the the boxy um, element is not super aerodynamic to begin with. But since I already have the car carrier up there, leaving the gate open doesn't create any additional uh, wind resistance that I've figured out. So I don't think it'll really affect the gas mileage. So another bonus. Also, as you saw, I currently have a towel hanging from it. It doubles as a really handy towel rack. So, like I said, despite the fact that I, I in order to set it up, I have to lose, in fact, you know, an inch, like two inches uh, of extra room out of the back. I think we're going to keep it there for a while and uh, and keep making use of it until it becomes, you know, unless it becomes a, an issue of me needing to get in and out of the back of the vehicle, and then I have to keep taking it down and putting it up and stuff like that. That'll be a pain in the ass. Uh, but for now, I, I grabbed it from, from the wife because uh, I thought I could make use of it, and so far I am. 
so that's good. And yeah, so so now, like I said, we, we I you know I got my shower last night and I actually slept in the vehicle. You know, I could have set up the tent because we're here at a campground, although nobody else seems to have tents, everybody else seems to have RVs, but again, I just didn't want to deal with that first thing in the morning uh, in case somebody came and knocked and, and was mad that we, uh, you know, we didn't check in first, although I would have happily checked in, there was just nobody there to check in for, uh, check in with, rather. So, uh, so yeah, so we, so we did the car thing last night. Um, obviously, like I said, I've been up for a while before I started recording this, so it's not like I got tons of sleep, but I got about six hours, which is twice as much as I've gotten the past two nights, so we'll call that a win. Uh, it wasn't like, you know, again, not the most comfortable sleeping in the back of the car, but between the the blanket that I already have back there that stays there all the time, that, that was always Cameron's blanket for traveling in the car anyway, putting a yoga mat on top of that, and then my nice heavy-duty sleeping bag wasn't too bad. I, uh, you know, I was relatively comfortable, and I, I was able to actually pass out in pretty quick order, which was nice, and uh, stayed asleep. I didn't wake up until uh, just before 6 a.m., and that was just because I really had to pee. <laughs> if not for that, I may have actually slept longer. Um, but it worked out, because like I said, I wanted to get up early anyway, get everything organized, and then go head over to see my lawyer. So yeah, another uh, another successful night. I don't know. I mean, technically, I guess this still falls under the category of stealth camping because I was in my vehicle and nobody else really knew I was here. So yeah, we're going to call that stealth camping for the night, <laughs> even though it was at a campground. Uh, but like I said, not to worry, folks. I'm not stealing from anybody. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave some money at the at, at the front door for uh, you know for the electric that I borrow because that's pretty much all I used. I took uh, oh no, sorry, I, I took a gallon of water because there's a nice little spigot right next to the electric hookup for the RVs. I took about a gallon, gallon and a half of water to take my shower, and I used the electric overnight. Other than that, yeah. they don't seem to have too many other amenities here anyway. But I, you know, that's that's pretty much all I did. So. I'll throw them a couple of bucks, and then uh, I'll check back in later to, to make sure it's okay that I come back again. I don't know if I'm going to stay here every night. It was just, you know, like I said, because I needed a shower, I, I desperately I, I had to do something. And everywhere else I thought about possibly just setting it up and taking a quick one, there's just always a possibility of some road pirate coming by and harassing me, and I, just, I don't need that crap. So I did what I had to do, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Yeah, it worked out well, so now it's about 7.15, you know, it's like I said, it's looking like it's going to be a nice day out, hopefully it holds, I don't know, because when I checked the weather yesterday or the day before, they were talking about 20% or better chance of rain, like, every day for the next 10 or 12 days, and I was like, ah, that just figures we're finally out here on the road, just going to rain, 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 but since it's nice right now and the sun is shining, we're going to take advantage of it. I'm going to, uh, once I sign off here with you fine folks, I'm going to go take Murder Dog for a little walk, uh, and, uh, and then finish packing the rest of the up, although we're pretty much ready to go. I think the only things I have left to pack up are the, I have one of those little dog run things for Cameron for when we go camping and stuff, you know, one of the stakes you twist into the ground with a, you know, 25 foot leash on it. So I just got to wrap that up, wrap up my extension cord. And, uh, and we're going to hit the road. We're going to go see my lawyer, go pay the uh, ridiculous court fees that are, you know, $245. But no, it's not, it's not the money. It's the point. It's the point that I have to pay for, uh, for, I have to pay for the, I have to pay in order to be able to access the, um, what should we call it? I'm, one of these days I'm actually just going to shut the alarm off instead of hitting the snooze button. So this doesn't keep interrupting me. Um, but uh, for the court reporter, for the for the minutes that were taken, I have to pay in order for my for my lawyer to be able to access those. And uh, yeah, that's a whole other story. I got I get into that in my court updates. I'm not going to get you guys bogged down with that right now. But anyway, so once again, uh, successful second night. Murder Dog and I are uh, still doing well, and uh, we're in good spirits. And my mind's still turning about ideas that I can do. Like I said, uh, you know, it's 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 only been a couple of days, but you'd be amazed about how much information flows through you when you're out here doing this, and you have a lot of time to think, 
and you know you may realize that you're missing something that you wish you had um, you know speaking of which there are a number of things already that I, I wish not only that I had but I hadn't packed away because I already own them so like you know if I have to go out and purchase something it's one thing but like when I already own this item or multiple items and I pack them away in the storage unit I'm just pissed at myself like last night one of the things I realized having one of those like headlamp thingies you know that uh, they sell that people use for like doing you know construction or plumbing or whatever when you're dark space you know you have to climb into dark spaces so you have that headlamp uh, I have a couple of those they're awesome really wish I would have brought one I mean I have a couple of flashlights I have a lantern uh, I have I have a bunch of stuff like that but it's just so much more convenient to not have, you know to be hands free when you're walking around and doing stuff so definitely would have brought that I would definitely would not have packed that up. Um, I'm probably going to have to go purchase another one because it's a very handy item and I, I really wish I had one. Um, I really wish I hadn't packed up all my tools. Um, you know, I, ha I have a couple of things with me, but uh, I probably should have been a little more diligent about making sure I have more of those. Um, but again, this is a learning experience. And as I've said from the beginning, you know, my whole series will probably be more as well, at least especially once I got out on the road, would probably be a whole bunch of errors. And so far, it's been like that. But again, this is a learning process. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep learning. So, I'm trying to think. I thought there was something else I wanted to say to you guys this morning, but, ah, it slipped my mind for the time being. Uh, so I think, uh, I think I'll get wrap it up for now. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I will check back in tomorrow. You know, like I said last night, I put up the second or well when I put up from yesterday's video when I when I the, the show notes I wrote for that I, I, I put up two yesterday uh, just so it's just so now one can come out it, what there'll be hopefully just be one a day and it'll come out the day of the recording um, so yeah we're gonna head out of here go find us some Wi-Fi so we can try to upload this then get uh, go head over to see the lawyer and then uh, hopefully go hang out with my kids today because uh, you know like I said I didn't get as much sleep as I probably should, but I'm definitely a lot more rested than I have been. So uh, I should have plenty of energy to hang out with them today. And hopefully it'll stay nice because, you know, we're going to have to spend a lot of time outdoors. I said, thought, not like we can all fit in my car to hang out. That's no fun anyway. All right. So with that, I will sign off. Uh, you guys, uh, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, stay tuned. More updates to come. Check back in tomorrow. Peace, y'all.